Here, mm-hmm. you better just start drinking, dude. Here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's good. You, you hush over there with your pontificating ladies at my house. What the uh, <laughs> fuck? Only lady at his house is Mike. Love you, Mike, bro. Wow. You know, homie. You know what? I'm going to have Mike fight you. Let's next, do that shit. Next week, Mike will come on the podcast, punch you in Yo, the fucking Rocky face. Yo, Rocky Dennis better grow his fucking hair out. That's all I got to say about it. I need a... Yep. Yeah? Yep, yep, we all do. How the fuck does this one even work? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, fucking, what the fuck? There's so many... The beer guy, I don't know how to open his beer. Just, there's two different fucking beer openers on it. That one. Well, I mean, this one's a cord cutter. Yeah, but it works as a... I just opened beer. the beer with the cord cutter. <laughs> You're doing it wrong. <laughs> really? <laughs> Obviously not. <laughs> I'm doing it wronger. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously not. We, are you good now? Are you ready to roll? <laughs> Welcome to America. <laughs> are you good now? I'm fucking we swell. We in America. Are you okay? Because that was really easy. <laughs> yeah, let's get out of here. Can, <laughs> can we go somewhere expert, else? Yeah. It just slipped off. We man. can definitely get the fuck away. out of here away from this fucking rookie. with their chief or elsewise there's going to be big trouble because hey as Roddy Piper said one time I got no reservations about fighting an Indian. Guten Tag. Woo. Willkommen in Powwow. Ich bin der Chef. And this is the fucking AXE podcast. That's right. Excuse me. The IXE podcast because uh, man's is international now there, bruv. That's good. <sighs> oh yeah. Yeah. What's your podcast? It's been... Wunderbar. Tasted some good beers from earlier in the week. Yeah, really good beers from earlier in this week. It's been a great week. Make sure you guys check it's, that uh, out. It's a little trip across across the pond there, mate. Yep. As you'll notice, we're still drinking beer. Yeah. We have a whole lot of beers Pretty coming German, from Germany. Like the whole Germans. lot of beers. The Germans. Them fucking beers are so good. These uh, Polliner Munchen Polliner Lagers or yeah. whatever. Like I said. We're really we gonna fuck all these words up, bro. So yeah. don't don't take offense. That's the we're that's stupid the, Americans. Uh, we don't know how to talk. That's like the uh, plain lager. They also have a dark beer, which is like a um, we don't do dark beers over it's here. It's like a more of an ale rather than a lager. That we don't I'm, we don't do dark beers over here. That right there is fucking beautiful, beautiful and tasty. Spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! Oh, Schwarz beer next week. Oh yeah. What'd you say about a Schwarz? What? The, the Schwarz beer. The mm. Mm. It's made of Schwartz be witches. German mm. for dark ale. Mm. Maybe he'll make up with a German topic next week too. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> show up with Maybe. Two balls of beer. Maybe next week when we make it back to the state side, you'll uh, decide to join us in Germany. Hey, look, man. I did. We went to Germany. We talked about a sport in Germany that is all of but irrelevant in here in America. What was that? Uh, das Fußball. Mm. Nah. 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 Huh? No. Okay. Not this time around. No. Because right now we're talking about dust grass. <laughs> dust grass. Dust grass. That's, 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 that's what they call it in fucking Germany, bro. We call it the powwow around here, but over there they call it dust grass. So let's go ahead and uh, fire this up. Spark the grass. You guys ready? Dust grass. So the amazing part, you guys want to know some cool shit about powwows over there on the other side of the world. Mm-hmm. Much like a lot of places here, powwow is illegal in Germany. Hmm. Yeah, uh, in twenty in twenty seventeen, they uh, they made medical powwow a thing, but it's so rarely fucking prescribed that it's basically yeah, irrelevant. It's uh, they have it. They have it kind of designated between the different city states of Germany. Berlin is going to be your your most uh, powwow friendly place in all of Germany. It's the capital. It's you know, actually, I lived That's there for unique. three years. Oh, yeah? In Berlin. How was that? That was great. Uh, when I went to school uh, in some of those places, too, they, they gave us, like, pieces of the Berlin Wall, all Fuck kinds yeah. of stuff, dude. Like, it, it, it was it was very uh, – we got to go a lot of castles, uh, the Hindenburg Castle. Fuck uh, yeah. Castles, like, uh, there's it's the Heidelberg Bridge. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, there was just a lot of that over there. <clears throat> there's lots of old stuff. Like, it's not like the U.S., man, yeah. where, you know, we're only, like, 200 going on uh, over strong. Mm-hmm. Over there, you, the roads you walk on, literally, like, you're walking down the street. They've been there for thousands of fucking years, you know? Oh, yeah. Before those were – before they were even German settlements, those roads were there when it was, like – 
just knights and horses and shit, yeah. you know, bro. See, That's go to school in crazy. Germany. Go to school in Germany. You get a history and or you get a lesson in history. Go to school in America. You get crippling student debt. And in American school, they <laughs> well, teach I mean, you German they language. They don't really fucking teach you anything about American history other than our 200 years of American history here in America. Mm-hmm, which is us just being so. dickheads to people that don't look like white Protestants. Right. Exactly. There's actually a lot more ancient shit here in America. They actually found a footprint in uh, 24,500 years ago of a humanoid <laughs> footprint in New Mexico just last week. Nice. Which is changing the entire idea of where humanoids came from because we all know people all people originated africa. from africa we know that well 24,500 year old footprint here in america and they how long and how long ago how long ago was pangea this bitch don't know about pangea hey did you just why don't you tell me how long ago pangea was motherfucker i asked you oh well, here. if i ask you the I question it's not my job to answer when it. was pangea around you can't ask me the question I just asked you. Were people around during Pangea times? So of course. So we're like just trying to figure out like so where He's trying came to say from? he's trying to say people came from Mexico when we all know people came from Africa. Well it's technically New Mexico and America, but it they're just changing the way that as far as humanoids here in North America they all thought that they came from elsewhere, whereas they have footprints that come from before their ideas. Sounds like of. white nationalist propaganda from Facebook. Probably weren't white people. They were probably speaking like find out where the virus speaking, started. Yeah, speaking of white nationalist <laughs> propaganda, <laughs> shout out to everybody in Germany. No, that was an <laughs> ill-timed joke, and let's I apologize. Let's go back. Let's go back to cool. Europe. Right. Yeah, let's go back to Europe, where people of all different races and sectors and creeds are treated equally. Dude, are I always they, wanted to play what paintball. What other laws do they have? What are the laws do they have? Yeah, I mean, like... Obviously, so powwow's illegal. Yep. Uh, is there anything that surprises us? Do you know? You don't get it. Not, not really. It's, it, it's weird because no it's it's illegal. It is illegal. Yeah. But the way they've kind of done it, it's it's one of those things. It's kind of, it's more frowned upon than like anything. Decriminalized, possibly. Not even decriminalized. It's, it's a slap on the hand. Not necessarily. They they it, the different city states kind of have their own jurisdictions as to what they consider a small amount of to, power. To what? Yeah. Well, like considering like, is not Amsterdam actually part of Germany technically? No. No. Or is it not? No. No. Okay. It's in Belgium. So, like in Berlin, in Berlin, less than eleven grams is considered a small amount of power. So, say the four of us are out, okay. just blowing a blunt or something like that. They're, you know, they'll walk up to us, you know, you know, put it out, whatever the shit, if it's not an egregious amount or we're not being super disrespectful. It's kind of one of those things. If you're being cool and you just want to blow a joint or whatever, nobody's really going to bother you. They're big on manners. Yes, they're very, they're very big on manners. So if you powwow responsibly and with a little bit of fucking common courtesy, don't be a dick about it. People will generally leave you alone. Not like America where, fuck off, pig. Yeah, yeah not, in, not in America where just smelling like weed will get you ostracized from the McDonald's. But... Yeah, over there, like, anything more than 11 grams, the police kind of technically have to fucking take you down. They take you down to bookings, they fucking do your fingerprint, take your picture, give you a lecture, and then send you on your fucking way. But for the most part, like I said, if, as long as you get a reasonable, personal amount, you'd be alright. Hmm. You'd be alright. Just don't be a dick, don't be blowing it in people's faces, don't be parading it fucking around. You'd be alright. So act like you're in Seattle at HempFest before shit got legalized. Hell yeah. As we say in America, act like you've fucking been here before, bro. Right. Act like you've been here. Don't act like a fucking tourist and you'll be fine. <laughs> so. Instead, it's going to be a drunk American. <laughs> so, yeah, like, like I said, you know, a small amount of weed in certain areas get you a little slap on the wrist. Put that shit away. You know, put it in your pocket. Go away. Type of shit. You over 11 grams, you rock around with a half ounce of that fucking d- 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 doty, then you got a problem. <clears throat> like this week. Like, if I was to walk outside in Germany right now with this northern lights that we got, because unfortunately we weren't able to find any official German strains. A lot of their shit over there are like triple hybrids. So they'll take like OG skunk and fucking super silver haze and mix it with something else and make some super weird shit. It, I've been looking all fucking week to try to find anything that resembles official German powwow. Hmm. Wasn't able to find it. And we're like, we'll just find like some Dutch something or Dutch berry and we'll just, we'll just kayfabe it. Nope. Dutch berry. I went to go find some. 
I'm not going to say where. We're not going to slander anybody because they could usually come through. But it looked like shit. It was <laughs> super, super stimmy and it looked kind of brown. It was just like. Times are tough. Times are very tough. But times are never too tough to fucking settle for mediocre powwow. So we went down to the fucking collective. Hollered at my boy. It's like, yo, go ahead and hit me with something good. And we got that Northern Lights. Ooh. A fucking classic. You could never go wrong. Old school. Yeah. So, for if you are if you do happen to be in Germany and you, uh, you know, respect <laughs> the fucking laws of the world, and you are not transporting powwow across fucking state and international fucking boundaries, because that is illegal. We do not encourage you to do that. You are going to have to find your own powwow once you get over to Germany. And there are a couple of different ways to do that. There are usually three, three solid ways well two solid ways one kind of sketchy ask the homie at the bar where the weed at yeah pretty much <laughs> pretty much <laughs> pretty much you you got three options in right. fucking germany you either ask the homie that you know has the powwow smoke. can't can't smoke or can't speak the german but i can say hey das grass bro das grass where is that bro das grass bro that's all you gotta tell them so you can hit up the homie that you know has the powwow. That's always your fucking best bet. No. They have a, uh, they have an app or a, a social media type thing called Telegram, that apparently is the best way, according to, to Berliners, to uh, acquire your powwow. I feel like that's a setup. It, it sounds like the setup, that's, like a motherfucker. That that's seems the ops, bro. Than just that's the fucking name. ops. Uh, right. Just my own personal opinion. Don't be purchasing powwow or any other illegal substances online. That's so funny. That's like uh, fucking some of the groups I'm in because of this podcast. Uh, fucking you see people like trying to slang out fucking weed on in these fucking groups. Yeah. Like with my WhatsApp number. Yeah. And I'm just like, dude. And then you see people that fucking send these fools money and they're like, yeah. I'll post. I'm just like, why did you buy weed from somebody online? You're a fucking idiot. It happens on Instagram all the time. As soon as I post anything relating to the powwow on Instagram, I immediately get fucking friends requests from. Oh, Dan the Weed Man, and he's got fucking, oh, I got a pound over here and a pound over here, and we can ship anything anywhere. I'm like, bro, that's illegal as fuck. Right. Yeah, right? You, hello, officer. <laughs> uh, five marijuanas, please. No, dumbasses. <laughs> Don't be buying weed off the fucking internet unless you're internet communicating with a friend that you trust, which you should not be doing because you ain't supposed to be doing powwow over fucking secured services, bro. Word of mouth, cash, hand to hand. Keep that yep. shit on the low. Face to face. Face to face. Face to face. Or here in America, you could just go to the fucking store. Face to face. That covers the face to face. <laughs> so <laughs> there's a third option. If you don't have a friend that has fucking reasonable powwow on a consistent basis, and you don't want to go through the, the Telegram app, oh. you can always take your ass down to one of the mini parks in fucking Germany, one of the big parks. I'm not going to fuck up yep. the name because it looks ridiculous the way it's spelled i'm not going to fuck up the pronunciation so go to the big central park whatever it is over there in berlin and you might have to buy your shit from a shady dude in a hoodie they actually uh they have a lot of really cool places in germany place cool places to visit yeah like uh one of the places uh birch's garden uh is actually centered around the whole everything with hitler and everything but uh okay. it is made up as a tourist destination <laughs> Where you can actually like walk through <coughs> the gas chambers and stuff and like all oh, yeah, of it, like see Holocaust it all, bro. Tour. It's Feel crazy. Peace. You, you you stay in the fucking like the hotel where Hitler Field stayed. Yeah. Field peace. It's not. It's not the hotel where we he stayed. It's that. fucking. Um, that is the ultimate. The powwow can happen anywhere. The woods, the fucking, well, no, the, he has the, the, he, he the, has uh, a place. It's called the. It's uh like it's, the Hawks Peak or something. Yep, it's up but in the woods. It's they've up turned, in. They've they, turned that into a hotel now. They, well, it's a it's snow. An it's a it's a snow fucking board and snowboarding. Oh uh, really? Like yeah, a it's, ski resort. it's a ski resort. That's what oh, I was looking yeah. for. Fuck yeah! Up it's a mountain. fucking oh, ski yeah. resort, bro. And so they did you know, all. That's, that's the how they they, were doing they that shit, adapted their history to this stuff. You know what I mean? They're 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 not a they're not ashamed of it happening anymore. They just want people to understand. They're trying to move on from it. You know, but at the yeah. same time, yep. like we were, they're so very open people. Like, yeah, uh, exactly. You can go to the fucking Holocaust tour and see the giant fucking pile of shoes. That's just like, damn, that's not even half of them. Are not just zoos. They're full on like 
additional parks and stuff like yeah. they have like rides and yeah. then they have like an area where you can go get uh like wet thing? in a pool like you know yeah. but another thing too is people don't wear fucking bathing suits out there it, <laughs> very acceptable to be naked mm -hmm. any fucking at any pool place anything all the time when i was a kid we'd go places Fucking chicks naked, fucking everybody naked. Damn, that's a whole that's a whole other segment. <laughs> just let you know. You should you should have told me this before we sat down and rolled the camera. We could have turned this into a whole other segment. We definitely yeah. need to go to Germany. That's the ultimate. The powwow can happen anywhere. I'm trying to fucking blow a but blunt. But it's only in like places with pools and shit. I'm, you know? I'm, like I'm trying to I'm trying to blow a blunt inside of a fucking me. gas chamber. I need to get. A, oh yeah. I need, we need to get we some gas. We need to get oh, some gas yeah. mask from the collective yeah. and fucking go it's to called fucking Birch's Garden, bro. Birch's Garden. Cool. That's, that's the name of the resort that uh, they have oh all kinds of stuff. Be, I don't play uh, airsoft, but I've seen how they play airsoft in Europe. Yeah. And it's just massive, man. Like yeah. the whole town. Yeah, I believe it. It looks dope as shit. I believe it, dude. I would it, love to go do that shit. There's, oh, yeah. there's a lot of stuff. And what's really yeah. cool is like the, 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 the uh, scenery and stuff is a lot like here. Yeah. Because they get the same weather as we do here in Washington mm -hmm. in the United States. Over there in Germany, they get a lot of rain. Mm -hmm. it's dark it's very evergreeny, mm -hmm. you know. But the countrysides, man, which is weird because uh, you think you think with the same weather, you know, the same kind of climate, and everything they have, that they would like have amazing fucking powwow. Yeah, it's very very fucking scarce. And the mm -hmm. shit that you do find, like, uh, I, I pulled up the name of the actual places, the two big parks there. You want a lot more Gorlitzer yeah. and yeah. Hasenheide Park. I know I'm fucking those up, but you get the vibes. See, those, are, those are the two big places that people go to cop their fucking powwow. Be careful when copying your powwow from people in the park. Apparently in Germany, they have a huge problem with people lacing their shit. So they'll, they'll sell you some mid-ass fucking weed, and they'll lace it with that K2 shit uh, or spice or fweed. Give you a goddamn hard tech. Fweed, as they call it in Texas, F-W-E-E-D -E -E for fake, fake weed. weed. Another weird thing that happens in Germany that... Uh, they do is they get rid of furniture on a monthly basis because mm -hmm. they don't want to get taxed for it. Yep. Because they get taxed for the items that are inside their home on a monthly basis. So wait a minute. Wait a minute. Like they like can't how have, fucking much? Like 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 since uh, when Obviously we were military people, sell right? Your when I was there, every month. we would go on what oh they would call it dumpster diving. But what we would do is we, we would do that on here. a certain day of the month. Your ass would drive down to where all the Germans live. And you go down their block and literally hold on, hunches, hold on. Like you said you're, you're in Germany driving down to where the Germans live. Well, yep. because you live on post, bro. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're, you're a military, you know, true. American citizen. I just citizen, thought that was funny. You know, and so you leave, you go to another area, you know, you leave post and go to another area. And, and literally, like I said, it's, it's, it's like that. It's, they put like grandfather clocks. Mm hmm all kinds of shit, bro. Just the nicest fucking things you would never throw away just because they don't want to get charged for it. That's fucking ridiculous. It's crazy. Because they, when they buy something new, they have to get rid of. It's it's a way their it's government the makes uh, them... Stop hoarding shit? I'm sure I'm not in a, in a way, exactly yes. what you're saying. America, get on it, bro. It's like... Shit. Get on uh, it. Uh, fuck all that. That's why when you ain't getting my fucking couch and you ain't gonna tax me for my That's fucking why, couch. Like, when a, a service He's a member hoarder. marries no, a German no hoarder, movie, bro. yeah, like they have so much nice shit because they got to keep stuff. Yes, mm -hmm. and that's exactly what it is. Is that's the, all their lineage, everything they all like stays in the family and yeah. shit, and they can yeah. keep all that stuff. So there's, when there's, they, there's a lot, there's a lot of older German people that I run into in Lakewood, and you see their house just full of shit. It's like. Why do you have six entertainment centers in your living room and four china cabinets and three fucking dining room tables? Because nobody tells why, me. Why is there a stove all really in the living nice room? Too. <laughs> they're not like piece of shit fucking things. They're yeah. really nice Everything's things. nice like handmade wood. Yeah. weighs 400 pounds. <laughs> yes. Very yeah. fucking nice. Yeah. Handmade by some... Don't use the china. I'm not going to say it. Uh, stop it. Sorry. Stop it. I'm just saying. I'm stop just it. Saying. Why, do, why do all these... Germans have such nice stuff. So much of that nice stuff. Uh, excuse me, but but amazing artisanal handmade quality items are produced all over the world. Hmm. Uh, I know a person. I Absolutely. personally know of a place where you can get amazing hand blown artwork, and that would be at our friends at the fucking hippie house yeah, over on yeah. Sixth Avenue, Tacoma. Oh yeah, yeah. The premier glass emporium in all of in all of the world, in all of the world. In all the Deutschland, in all the Americas, in all the world. All the Everywhere. In all of the matter. 
And all the matters, the dark matters, the light matters, all lives matter, all the matters. <laughs> all glass matters. Especially over at the Hippie House. We fucking love you guys. Shout out to y'all once again, all your amazing fucking work. Make sure and check them out. Check them out on Instagram, bro, at the Hippie House. Definitely. Always. Even if you don't powwow, if you just appreciate art, just go and check it out. It's Daily beautiful. specials. You know who else Daily is specials. some fucking cool art? Hmm. Those motherfuckers over at Harris Sign Co. I was mm. getting there, too. <laughs> I was getting there, too. Our amazing friends over at Harris Sign Co. You shut up. <laughs> Harris Sign Co. at gmail.com. Make sure and hit them up for all of your fucking vinyl needs. They will match your fucking budget, get you whatever you need. Top quality work, bro. Produce locally. And in times like this, you always want to support local business no matter what. Harris Sign Co. at gmail.com. 253-820-3002. That is Harris Sinko at gmail.com. Shout out to our friends over at fucking Comics The Gathering and all their hard work. Go for the comics, stay for the games, and the Funko Pops. Make sure to check them out every other Friday. They are doing Magic The Gathering tournaments. Go over there, flex off your skills. If you get your ass whooped, oh well, come back uh, the next next Friday and try it again, bro, because we doing that shit. We inch here, as the kids would say. Yeah, just because you lose don't mean you're not going to get better. Keep going. Yeah, and so that's how you do Practice, practice, Ooh. practice makes fucking perfect. Dedication makes greatness. Damn right. Pressure makes diamonds, bro. No one ever loses at Comics Together. No, we're all winners. No losers. We're all winners. Well, it's kind of like most of us powwow. are winners. Yeah, we're all winners with the powwow. We're all winners with the AXC podcast. Make sure you like, share, motherfucking subscribe. Hashtag the powwow. Motherfucking hashtag AXC podcast. Make sure you go back to yesterday and check out the beer of the week. Then go back and check out the what the fuh 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 and chop block football. Stay tuned for fucking Backyard Wrestling Theater tomorrow. And we'll catch you guys next time, bitch. Out my face. Whew. Hashtag, hashtag. That's good. And to both of you and all the other powwowers out there, thank you, fuck you, bye-bye, everybody.